Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this logo that they have permission on. They're doing it on for their company. The only thing I, Corel just doesn't trace fonts. So if you can find, for the one I'm doing it for, if you can find that font, I just used the Times New Roman. And there's a few things I would clean up afterwards. But the file came in real big. So this thing is less than three. I'm gonna actually make it smaller for Corel to have an easier trace. So I'm gonna set my nudge factor on two inches. And I'm gonna take this guy, and the first time, I'm gonna try it two different ways. I'm gonna to go to bitmap, convert it to a bitmap, and I'm gonna go grayscale. And I'm gonna put my gray, copy that over there. Well, let me tell you what, let me back up. Let me make a copy of that. And we're gonna try grayscale. So go to bitmap, trace to bitmap, grayscale. But on this one, I'm gonna try bitmap, convert to bitmap, but I'm gonna use a color. Uh, I'm gonna use CMYK because it doesn't really matter on this type deal. Now I'm gonna trace this one. I'm gonna go to outline trace and clip art. This is the way I did it on the one I just did. I'm gonna go ahead and bump the detail all the way up. And if we look, there's our traced version. Now let's try it in color. Go to bitmap, outline trace, clip art. We're gonna do the exact same thing. This might even help us separate the colors, but maybe not. Because if you look, now we've got a lot of colors in our flowers and we need some of these colors. Like this is a you know green and and everything, and you could select all the colors, or you could just start deleting the other colors, which would be a little bit time consuming. If we go up to effects, group and ungroup, and just start deleting the colors we do not need, because they just want it black and white, they just want it on a, so this is gonna take up too much time. So we're gonna scrap that idea, and go back to the grayscale, and if you look, we have, uh, Pretty good drawing. We've uh, it's still together, so we're going to go to group and ungroup, and we're going to start grabbing the black, and I'm going to nudge it to the left, and then hopefully some of this larger black stuff will be grouped together, and it is. And you can kind of look at it whether you want more or less. Uh, I think it's pretty cool like that. We've left some stuff behind, but you can play with that other. The other font came through pretty well. Uh, there's some parts missing, but I'm just going to go with all the black. And don't worry about right now that some of them are, don't look true black. Uh, we're getting rid of some of the uh, graphic that are in the inside of the D, in the inside of the B. We're getting rid of that, basically a background. And I think I, I accidentally, see I did, I nudged it a little bit, so I'm going to Put it back. I'm gonna go ahead and get all the black. We can always take them away. And I want that gray, because I think that's part of it. I'm not gonna worry about the text itself, because I'm gonna just redo it. I'm gonna go ahead and take away all the, uh, not taking away, I'm nudging all the blacks and all the gray, because we can make it all black. Uh, I'm thinking this is uh, what we need anyway. We'll see in just a second. So don't delete this, because we might need it. Whoop, I don't really want that. I'm going to put that back. I just want that centerpiece. And a lot of this we're going to have to clean up a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and take all the grays and all the blacks. And I guess I should have tried you know, turning this into a black and white bitmap. I'm just grabbing selection and hitting my left arrow key. A couple more and I think we're done. Now let's go over and look at it. I would be quite happy with that. So what we can do now is select everything and make it all black. And that turn those gray paste places black. Now this needs some cleaning up. Um, you know, if we look at the original, that's why it's always kind of important to keep the original drawing. Um, you know, that looks pretty good. This is what I had first. I actually deleted the 
the original original. <clears throat> For some reason, mine looks better, so we left some stuff behind. I don't know what it would be because there's really nothing left. Um, we could try, because now that we got the other part all black, we could try moving this stuff over, seeing what it looks like. And that really, well, it, no, it didn't really help us. So let's back up and see it's just the inside. Now, just type out Times New Roman and put it in there uh, or any font you know you pick to get that established date. Um, I mean, you know, mine is just, I picked two Times New Roman, it's pretty good. Now we need to kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna grab the shape tool and even though this looks like in the original, I'm just gonna make that, whoop. You know, I had both selected. Just select the center node and or make a center node and just lift it up. Tell you what we're gonna do is select them both. Let me get rid of the center one for a second. Take both those, right click, turn them into a curve, then grab that center and just kind of make that look a little bit better. Uh, this is really, really thin. I know she's gonna put it on a Yeti cup, so we need to possibly make that a little bit thicker. You know, maybe even join those, maybe those two together. And then you could take the smoothing tool and it all depends on how, just how much work you wanna put into it. I mean, everything looks pretty good. This kinda of looks like garbage in here, but that was part of the drawing. Um, let's see what we can do with that. Just grab your shape tool and start deleting nodes. Delete node, delete node. You see, we've got some that are turned around. So after we delete a few more, so that doesn't look too bad, we can take all these and right click and turn them into a line and that's gonna make it straight across. I evidently need to do, well, I don't want that other one. Well, it's not gonna hurt anything. So now you've kind of got a line, looks a little better, a little more defined, uh, just depends on what you think it needs to look like. Uh, make that a little bit thicker. So all your black parts gonna engrave and all your white parts not. Like there's a, what I call a whoop de doo Take that, right click and turn it into a line. And what that does, and then you can always, it just deletes it. Then you can take the smoothing tool, which is way too big for this drawing, 0 0.05, and click on your item and, and just kind of smooth that stuff out. Like right there, you don't want that. This would almost be easier if you took it and made it into a hairline. See, we'll just start deleting nodes and see what happens. See there, I'm just gonna delete all that and then turn these two around so you get a totally different look. You could actually even add a node and you could, you want it to be the same logo, but it doesn't have to be, you know, perfect. Like there's some interior parts here. Uh, just take your smoothing tool, click on your item and just kind of smooth them out a little bit. See, there's a line right there that we could just totally delete. It's too thin, it's not gonna show up anyway. I just took the shape tool and just deleted it. You know, and like there's a node that probably needs to be turned around, but we can just smooth it out. You know, go over the whole thing and just kind of look at things. Um, you know, there's two of those nodes that are basically crossed. Take the shape tool and you can see, we can move that node over there and turn or turn our handle and just have a totally different looking node that you can always take the back to the smoothing tool and just smooth that out. But if you would go over the whole logo like that and like the center part, you know, just play with it a little bit. You know, that maybe should be rounder Maybe, and of course you'll have the drawing with you when you do it. You know, just make that a little bit rounder. Make it look more like a flower. You know, maybe if you want, you could join these two parts. Take your shape tool, and I would, well, we're just gonna grab that one node and put it down in there, and see it kinda joined it. But the best way to do this is to go ahead and turn it into a hairline. So I'm gonna left click, right click, and we can see more of what we're doing. Take the smart field tool, I mean the virtual segment delete key and delete those lines. 
Now, the only thing wrong with doing it this way, now when we turn it all black by left clicking, we're gonna get, well, that really looks pretty good. So it didn't change anything. And you know, like, so go back to a wireframe and it's a lot easier to take that and make it into a, and it doesn't, you know, it's mother nature. It doesn't have to be a, a perfect circle. Let's grab the smoothing tool. Just smooth it out a little bit. You know, here's a bunch of weird looking cross nodes. And at this time, you can take that and just delete those corners instead of what I was doing earlier. Uh, you don't want to do that because that's going to delete the whole thing. But you could um, take your shape tool back and put this node up into there, up into there, and then delete both these, those lines and have a different look. And, you know, if you if you don't like those at all, you could delete them all and grab, you know, a lot of people don't re realize this sometimes, grab, I've got to go to object, break the curve apart to grab that. Now hit the plus key on your keyboard, grab that from that flower, angle a little bit, make it a little bit smaller and, you know, make your own, you know, grab, I don't know why that's not a hairline anymore there we go and then just take this one and make a duplicate of it hit the plus key in your keyboard put the original back put that in there and just instead of working all around that now the the font i thought trace pretty good same thing here the bigger the font the easier it is to clean it up we're just going to delete these extra nodes and because this is a V and it's all straight line, we can select it all, go right click and turn it into a line. It'll make it perfect. Then you could actually do this for both V's, but in, in a lot of times you can, once you get one V perfect, you could actually use this V over there. But we did a pretty good job. So let's, you know what I'm talking about, just maybe turn that one yellow, make a copy of this, hit plus key on your keyboard, Put it on top of the yellow, nudge that one out of the way, take your V and nudge it back. And it's right in the word. The bottom in this good, uh, you could try tracing it a couple of different ways. And, you know, it's hard when people have given you a logo. She actually got this logo off their webpage. They might have it elsewhere, you know, saved somewhere. You know, like, let's get rid of those two nodes. And see, like, like there's two two colors there. Um, can't really do much about that. Or two, they're the same color, but they're that's where those grays. You know what? We could try. Let's turn all this black. Well, see, that's what I was afraid was going to happen before. Once you've gone so far, you might have to take the smart fill tool and use black and fill in that. So you get that area. Um, you know, I. you could maybe try tracing it again. And I might even try tracing it again in black and white instead of a grayscale and see what happened. And then just clean it up a little bit. You know, like that right there isn't going to engrave very good. It's going to look like not very good. So just, you know, that is part of it. But you can always move that line, make it a little thicker. You know, make the get your handles and make that a little bit looking different. Grab your your smoothing tool and just hit that real quick and look at the difference, how how smooth it looked. Looks really real. You know, the, the A is the same way as the other letters. You know, grab your shape tool, click on it. Let's, uh, let's turn these into a line by right clicking. Let's delete these two. And that already looks better. Delete that one and just kind of play around with it. You know, delete these two nodes. That doesn't look half bad. You know, and some of them you can just take the, the smoothing tool and smooth that B out. You have to make sure you're clicked on it. And a lot of times you're going to have to go and go to object and group 
or break the curve apart. For if the smoothing tool is not working, well, see, there's what's going to happen. Uh, a lot of times, but you can delete that. And so, if their smoothing tool isn't working, you can uh, do what we just did. But you can always take the shape tool and delete some nodes. I think that'll work because it's going to be small. I mean, I'd work on the bottom a little bit and add the, you know, established. Um, let me just zoom over here and grab that. I grouped it together. See, my first one really came out good. No, that's not even it. Here it is. See how clean it. So this is actually better. I'm actually going to send you this file, young lady. And if you you like it, you can use it. Feel free to use it, and you can change that font. It's still Times New Roman. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.